Hi, today we will present the new P500DX models. We have done a facelift, so I will guide you through both the new features and also some product quality improvements. My name is Henrik Wieberg and I'm working as a tech support. This is the new dual LED light. This is the working light for the near visibility. Then we have the high beam, which uh, add a long range visibility. This is the new uh, high contrast display. We are showing the RPM on the engine. We are showing the fuel level. So this machine has an electric fuel gauge. We have a new fuse box here which we have all main fuses in one place. We have also added the, a main switch for the 12 volt system. So you just turn the key like this and now the system is off. We have added a cooling tank to improve the cooling capacity. This is the new uh, waterproof storage box with the USB charging output, two outputs, and you can connect your charging cable. Then we have a cable outlet here, so you can close the box during your drive. This is a new service lid, so it's easier to access the connection board like this. You don't need to remove the whole cover, just this service lid. And then you can check your connections and as well the fuses. On the P520DX model we have now 20 inch wheel. Uh, this gives the 520 a higher ground speed and lower ground pressure. The wheels have a little bit smaller uh, tracking width than the P525 wheels. On the P525 diesel or the DX model we'll have the hydraulic kit mounted from factory as standard. This is the new link rod which we have reinforced. This link rod is now thicker. We have also a new attachment against the chassis. So the whole area here is reinforced. We have also reinforced the bearing and the main pivoting pin. The bearing is bigger and also the pin is thicker. It's 30 millimeter instead of 25. You can also change the whole pin. So it's bolted together underneath here. So you don't need to change the whole bracket here. This is the new engine bed, which is flat mounted which gives us lower engine vibrations. We have a new PTO system together with the new PTO bracket. This new system allows us to align the pump together with the engine better in production. This gives us a longer lifetime for the electric clutch and also the belt. Together with the new engine bed we have a low vibration system. So here is a view underneath the machine. You can see the pulley for the belts, the electric clutch. And here is a new thing. We have added an anti-vibration element to have a lower vibration system. Some new updates on the machine is that we have a new PTO tensioner for the PTO belts. We have a new lifting cylinder with the higher lifting capacity. We have added a grease nipple for the wheel splines and the wheel hub. So it's now easier for the customer and the dealers to grease the splines. We have increased the clearance between the wheel and the chassis. It's uh, around seven millimeter more on the new models. We have relocated the 12 volt output from the panel to this side beside the seat. 
We have a new fuel tank to comply with the US uh, regulations. So here is the new fuel level here, you can see here. We have also the fuel, electric fuel gauge underneath this cover here. The new DX model, the model name D stands for the diesel, X stands for the connectivity. So this machine is uh, fleet ready. It's uh, possible to connect the fleet via the Bluetooth and also it's possible to connect to common service tool via a cable. So now I have guided you through the new features and also the new product improvements on the new models. Now I will show you a little bit deeply explained on the new uh, product improvements. Welcome back. Let's check some uh, updates on the chassis we have made. So in more detail we will explain the new engine bed, as well the pivoting pin and the link rod. So this is the new flat engine bed. This is done because we want to have lower vibration system. So it's the same dampeners as before, but now it's flat. This is the new pivot pin. This pivoting pin is changeable and also the diameter of this pin is 30 millimeter instead of 25. And as well, we need to change the bearing as well to a bigger one. So this is the new one and this is the old one. So the pin is now bolted together to the chassis and it's very easy to change if something would happen. So this is the new link rod and we have a new attachment against the chassis with four bolts. Uh, this is also pressed together with this bracket. So this is sold as a one piece as a kit. So one part number for this new link rod. This is the new link rod and this is the old design. As you can see, the thickness of the rod is much bigger on the new one than the old. Also, we had quite many loose parts for the old uh, design. Now we only have one kind of system, one design. This new design will not fit older machines. We will check the possibility to make some kit to the older machines that will have this bigger uh, material on the link rod. This is the new wheel hub and this is the old. As you can see we have around 7 mm higher wheel hub on the new ones. And that gives us a bigger clearance between the chassis and the tire on the machine. And we have also added a grease nipple to the new one. As you can see we have added a groove for the ceiling and also added a washer with the grease nipple and then you lock this washer with the locking ring. Now it's possible to grease the axle from outside. Before you needed to remove the whole wheel hub and then grease the axle on the transmission. So now it's more easy for the dealer or the customer to grease and serve your machine. So the new tires is this one in the middle. This is the old 18 inch uh, wheel that we had on the P520. We want to have the bigger wheel on the new P520 DX model, which is a 20 inch, but to have possibility to use that on the P520, we have a smaller tracking width on this tire than the P525 DX model. Both are 20 inch, but the tracking width is smaller. So when we are changing to the new wheels on the P520 DX, we also need to change these links to the black ones, because they are longer. This was used on the old P520. This is because we need to have the correct P520 
pitch on pitch angle on the cutting deck. So we are now using the P520 links on all units. 